Further discussion? Yes, Representative Matsumoto, followed by Representative Lopresti. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, in support of this version of in the In support, bill. please proceed. And if I could have the words of the finance chair inserted if they're my own. Absolutely, so ordered. A few comments. Um, this issue has been a matter of public debate for decades, and two years ago, I hesitantly supported the GET surcharge extension for rail because I felt like we just needed to finish the project. And at this point, the question really isn't whether we want rail or not, it's how we're gonna pay for it. And we're gonna have to pay for it somehow. And I feel that this bill is a creative balance of support and accountability to ensure the completion of the rail project. By tasking the city to use its own funds to help pay for rail, the legislature is ensuring that the city and county of Honolulu, as we all say, has some skin in the game. And they cannot continue to come to the state to bail the project out. The relationship between the legislature and the city and county of Honolulu needs to be symbiotic, with each side holding up their end of the bargain. We've agreed to fund the rail many times now without seeing the results from the city and county that were promised. It's time that they really put their money where their mouth is. With, while the extension of the GET tax is not necessarily the ideal solution, it's a better alternative to raising real property tax, in my opinion. In a recent poll, over 81% of the participants said no to increasing property taxes for rail. And if the city doesn't get enough funding, they've threatened that they'll raise property taxes approximately 8 to 14% to cover the cost. The 8 to 14% is in addition to the amount that they say that they have to raise property tax in order to cover the cost of operation and maintenance, which is another 8 to 10%. And that's not to mention the estimates to include additional taxes and property taxes to fund education if that bill passes. And I struggle with this decision because two years ago we were told that five years was enough. And now this year the city was asking for an extension in perpetuity or a 10 year extension. And while I'm frustrated, I feel that this bill is at least a good compromise, placing the least amount of burden on our residents. I've kept an open line of communication with my constituents through mailers and surveys. We had two town halls about this issue. And I'm basing my vote on what I believe is best for my community. Continuing on with what we've been paying for the past decade, while not ideal, is preferable, in my opinion, to raising property taxes drastically, which will affect all families. And as I've mentioned before, and I'll mention again, the city and Hart need to work more effectively and identify creative solutions to finish the real project. And the state should not have to revisit this issue again. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.